Hey guys, Andy here. So one thing Samsung are actually quite good at is letting you customize your device. Um, and I've just found the app GoodLock 2018. So it's in the Galaxy App Store, not the Google Play Store. And when you install it, actually all these things initially are basically links to another app in the Galaxy App Store. So you have to install each one, one by one. And then I'm just gonna briefly show you through what each one does. But again, basically they let you customize, so in this case, the actual lock screen. So I'm gonna select a new one. Now it, it's weird, it let, me, it let me select a different color background initially. I don't quite know why it's now saying it's, un <laughs> it's unsupported. Um, but we can go through different styles. In fact, I think, oh, when I, when I um, it said you could drag and drop things. This is bad, look. So you can drag and drop things. So how do we do that? Oh, there we go, it does let you. So you can put it wherever you want. Anyway, then we can go to the clock and we can change exactly what style of clock we, we might want. Although it's reset the position, so let's go with something a bit different. But again, there we go, it's letting us move. And then item visibility. So you see all that along the bottom. So basically if we tap, each time we tap them, so that was the status bar, you see that at the top, or the music controller, we can have that. That seems to be there permanently though if you have that, and I would rather, I assume it would just be there if I have uh, music. So the actual lock you can't see, it's just down there, the little lock, help text saying swipe to unlock. That's about it, then you would just save. I mean, I've already got one that I made, I'm happy with that, and that's applied. So if we were to turn it off, that's my lock screen. I've also got app shortcuts. Where did I see those from? I forgot actually where I set those. You can have up to six different apps along the bottom. Oh, they have app shortcut interaction. Um, oh, that's the interaction, sorry. And then I, oh, maybe it must have been in there somewhere where you select the different apps. Um, so let's come back out. Then we've got Quick Star. So this is the quick panel at the top. And mine's kind of Android Andy colors now, I quite like that. So again, if we do a new one, you get lots of different options. So the color setting, and when you do it, you can see up top what effect that is having. That looks nice, doesn't it? Can we go yellow? Okay, that's beautiful. I might change it and save to that. No, I might not. Oof, bloody hell, no, don't save. I was trying to hit the background. So you can change the transparency, you can have a blur effect, dim effect, so there's all different bits and pieces, you press save, and actually I'm not going to because I don't want yellow, green and red. But that's it, I mean again I can just tap and apply that if I wanted, and then we look here, and it's white and red, and then I'm going to go back to my funky Android Andy style. So that's pretty cool. Uh, simple indicator, so this is quite good, this lets us turn on and off things in the on the notification bar, so for example mobile data signal, you know, do I really need that? I do kind of wonder, I don't think I do. Our oh, location's just appeared. I don't think I've got a location one. No. Mm. But so perhaps a Wi-Fi, you could turn off the Wi-Fi indicator look. You could turn off the battery if you wanted. Um, alarm, all sorts of things. That's, again, that's just quite handy, unless you have as much or a little as you want. So, pretty cool. Uh, do you know what? I don't actually, I couldn't entirely figure out what this bit was. It gives you an extra look. I'm not sure what those, and I think that applies to kind of Bixby Home. I'm not really sure. Someone, someone, let me know exactly what that bit is. So let's come back. Oh, quick star. Oh, that's actually showing you. Oh, maybe I can't. So let's go back to. Good luck. So then task changer, which is actually what you've got a quick glimpse of. So basically you can just change the difference. We're on scale at the minute and we've got mini mode selected. Do you see that at the bottom? So when we tap the app switcher, I've got these little tiny cards look. And I can I can dismiss them from there. I can close all obviously. So let's just show you. So I quite like cube in as well. And again, let's go to app switcher. See, that's quite cool. Um, the ones where they kind of rotate, it's almost like they're fanned out. I've already got three apps. I should have opened some more apps. So, oh, 
What else? Blur and effects of black. So a couple of other options down the bottom. Routines, kind of like uh, macros you can set up and record. I haven't really played with this just yet, to be honest, but you can have um, sort of like a movie theater look, routine. Look, add, oh, you can add it. So set the brightness to 20%, turn on do not disturb. But you can have like a, a welcome home. So you see some of them it's scrolling through at the top. Some recommended ones. Uh, work when you can select a Bluetooth device, get the apps and settings you need. Automatically. So it seems quite a good idea actually that you can set up these um, scripts almost, uh, macros that will do certain things. So you come home, it turns on your Wi Fi, it changes your volume to loud on the ringer, um, and I don't know, turns Bluetooth off, whatever. I don't know. So it'll do all those things for you one after the other. As I haven't particularly used that myself just yet. And then again, we can change the clock face here. Lots of different options, some weird looking ones like so, some other weird looking ones like so, and you can change the color of things, which again I think it's just it's just quite cool that you can do that you can do these sort of things basically. Well, I think it is anyway. Maybe that maybe it's just me, but uh, oh, we can go multicolor look, funky. Um, there we go. So that's it. It's pretty simple, but at the same time, it's quite funky. It's quite clever. I like that it lets you make the device yours. Um, but that's it. So that's Good Luck 2018. It's on the Galaxy App Store. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, or if you've got any other tips for customizing your device, let me know those as well, because I'll perhaps do another video. But for now, my name's Andy, and I'll catch you all again soon. Pardon well and thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe. Um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos, which are going to appear somewhere there. Um, also, come have a look at my website, androidandy.uk. Um, there is also a forum. Come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or request me to review things or anything else. Just come and have a chat on the forum.